normal distribution. In today's video, here is a problem. The mean inside the diameter of a sample of 200 washers produced by a machine is 0 0.500 centimeters and standard deviation is 0 0.005 centimeters. The purpose of which these washers are intended a maximum tolerance in the diameter that is 0 0.495 to 0 0.505 centimeters. Otherwise, the washers are considered defective. Determine the percentage of defective washers. See here, the maximum tolerance in the diameter is in between 0 0.495 to 0 0.505. So, if it, uh, it maintains this diameter, then they are non-defective washers. So, otherwise, the washers are defective. Now, we have to determine the percentage of defective washers. See here, how many number of washers are there? 200. What is the mean? So, mean is given as 0 0.500 centimeters and standard deviation is given as 0 0.005. If mean and standard deviation are given, so we have to go with the normal distribution. See, let's get started. In the solution, mean mu is equal to 0 0.500 centimeters and the standard deviation here, sigma is equal to 0. 005 centimeters for non defective washers so the diameter should be maximum tolerance e should be in between 0 0.495 to 0 0.505 so from the question see when we take x is equal to 0 0.495 what will be the z value that is 0 0.495 minus 0. Point, see here 0 0.495 minus 0 0.500 divided by 0 0.005 so which is equal to minus 1 so the value here is minus 1 so we got the z value as minus 1 when x is equal to 0 0.495 see when x is equal to 0 0.505 so, x is equal to 0 0.505. What will be the z value? See here, z is equal to, that is, x minus mu by sigma. So, if I substitute the value of uh, x as 0. Point, this is 505 minus mu value is 0 0.500 by 0 0.005. See here, the value will be 0 0.505 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.005 the value here is plus 1 so we got the positive value as z is equal to 1 see for our, uh, x is equal to 0 0.505 we got the value of z so for these are if we maintain this uh, maximum tolerance and diameter so these will be non-defective washers so let's find out the probability in between these See, see here, this is the normal graph and this tends to plus infinity and this tends to minus infinity. So, this will be x is equal to mu and c. So, this is the negative value. So, this here is negative value for x is equal to 0 0.45495. See here, for x is equal to 0 0.495 here and see for x is equal to 0 0.505 in terms of z if i write in terms of z if i write so this will be z is equal to 0 so this is plus 1 and this is minus 1 so we have to find out the area in between these two for non-defective washers so this graph is for non-defective non-defective washers so they maintain the diameter, maximum diameter between 0 0.495 to 0 0.505, non-defective. So first of all, I am finding the area of this one. That is the probability of, see the probability of uh, non-defective washers. So non-defective washers is equal to, so 0 0.495 less than x less than 0 0.505 so in terms of z so this will be probability of minus 1 less than z less than plus 1 so this is nothing but the area in between z is equal to minus 1 to z is equal to 0 plus from the figure from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to plus 1. So, what is the area? See, I am showing this area. z is equal to minus 1 to z is equal to 0. And next, z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. So, by symmetry, we can write the area of uh, 
z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 is same and so here also I am writing area from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. So this is 2 times of area of z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. Now this will be what is the area for z is equal to 1 that is 1.0 under 0 is 0 0.3413 which is equal to 0 0.3413. So, the value here is 0 0.9898 to 6. Therefore, the percentage of the percentage of non-defective washers, the percentage of non-defective washers, non-defective washers is 0 0.6826 by 100. So, this is equal to 68.26 percentage and approximately 68 percentage. So, hence the required percentage of the defective items is uh, nothing but see, I'll show you for defective. So, let's start with the defective washers. So, what will be the, the defective washers if they don't maintain the diameter? Then the washers will be defective washers. So, defective washers probability is equal to probability of uh, defective washers is equal to 1 minus probability of non-defective washers, non-defective washers. So, what is the value for uh, this one? The probability of uh, non-defective washers is nothing but 0 0.6826, 0.6826. 6826 so which is equal to if we subtract from 1 so this will be 1 minus 0 0.6826 the value here is 0 0.3174 3174 see here therefore the percentage therefore the percentage of uh, defective washers the percentage of defective washers will be 0 0.3174 by 100. So, which is equal to 31.74. So, approximately equal to 32%. So, 32% defective washers and 68%, 68% non-defective. So, this is non-defective washers and this these are defective washers, 32%. So, this is how we have to understand this one see here the mean inside the diameter of sample of 200 washers is the mean is given as 0 0.50 and standard deviation is given as 0 0.005 and so if the washers are intended a maximum tolerance in the diameter so if uh, they maintain the maximum tolerance between 0 0.495 to 0 0.505 they are non-defective otherwise the washers are defective see in between uh, these two see here the area here is also very clear therefore the defective non-defective washers is 0 0.69 the probability of having uh, non-defective washers is this one the percentage is 68 and defective washers is like this and 32 percent we got thank you so much for watching and staying till the end